Welcome back. It's been a while. Let's get after it. Step one, get a soil temperature reading. Get yourself an extra grill thermometer. Crabgrass starts to grow and germinate at 55 degrees soil temperature. Most of these pre-emergence from the big box store will tell you on the bag to apply anywhere from when temperatures are consistently between 60 and 90 degrees. You want to be pre-emergent before this crabgrass gets going. Well, if you waited till they were consistently be between 60 degrees, your soil temperature is going to be higher and you're going to be too late. Now, I think I might be a little, a few days late, but let's see. So you want to apply this when your soil temperature is you know, high 40s, low 50s. I'm, I'm right on the cusp of almost being too late. I should have been about a week earlier, but we had so much rain that I couldn't get out and do it. You usually want to take that temperature reading about three to four inches deep. So if it is between you know, high 40s, low 50s, apply your pre-emergent. Step two, clean up your lawn from any debris, sticks, leaves, all that kind of stuff right there. Get all that stuff off your lawn because when you apply this pre-emergent, you want it to be able to get down to your soil and on your uh, the leaf of your grass as well so it can be most effective. Now here's a 2A I say, okay? And the reason why I say 2A because you don't have to do it. You could take a soil sample. I did it last year. I don't know that it helped me. My lawn still turned out pretty well for the year. Whatever samples you're doing, you want a non-contaminated bucket or bag. Just take this little thing, it's sharp on the end here. You take it down. Pull it out, get yourself about a six inch sample. Get your bag here. This is not contaminated. It's not even opened. Notice I have gloves on. I've cleaned, these are brand new gloves. You don't want to contaminate this soil. You want it as pure and as clean as possible. You can, in a bucket, it's easier to dump this out. I just grabbed this bag because this come with this set. Boom. Step 2B, you can mow if you want to. I want to. Step 3. You need to apply your pre-emergent. But to apply your pre-emergent, you need to know how much you need to put down. So you need to know the square footage of your lawn. So go to measuremylawn.com, follow it out. You can set up an account. Real easy. It's free. Find the square footage of your lawn. And once you get the square footage of the lawn, then you'll know how much pre-emergent to buy. Because the bags come in anywhere from 3,000, 4,000, 5,000 square feet, 12,000, 15,000 square feet. You'll know how much you need to buy then. Then you're at the big box store, you need to ask yourself, do I want to do any spring overseeding? If you want to do spring overseeding, then you need a special type of pre-emergent. One with the chemical mesotrione, meso or mesotrione, whatever, I don't know how to pronounce it properly, but you need that ingredient, that chemical in your pre-emergent. All the other pre-emergents, they will make it so your grass seed that you put down in the springtime with your overseeding does not germinate. So don't try to grow grass seed once you've already applied a pre-emergent that does not have that chemical in it. There's different couple companies out there. Scott's has a step one that has mesotrione in it. Tenacity, that's the one I'm going to be using. Uh, that's an easy one. And that's also takes care of a lot of other broadleaf weeds as well. It's not just good pre-emergent. It can also be used as post-emergent. So tenacity is a good one. You can go to domyown.com and get tenacity, or you can get it from where you get everything else at the Golden Smile place. If you're going to use tenacity, you're also going to want to get a separate fertilizer because you want to feed your lawn as well. Because that's what those pre-emergents in those bags from Scott's or from Jonathan Green or from whatever kind you're using, they will... Um, They'll, they'll stop your crabgrass from emerging. They'll kill any weeds that you have, broadleaf weeds that you have in your lawn right now. And they will feed your lawn some nitrogen, some good nutrients, so you can get, the, you can, uh, you can get some growth going. Those are three easy steps. Step one, 
we're going to get our soil temperature. Step two, we're going to clean up the lawn. Step 2A, you can get a soil sample if you wanted to. Step 2B, you can mow if you want to. I want to. And then step three, put your pre-emergen down. Follow directions on the bag or the bottle or whatever you're using. When it comes down to it, if you're using granular, it's usually anywhere from two and a half to four and a half pounds per thousand square feet. Okay, just follow the directions. It's simple with your spreader. All those bags have the different spreaders on there and the settings, what you need to. If you're using granular, you're gonna wanna water that in somewhere between a quarter to a half inch of water down over that granular so you can get it activated and going. That's what it is. Feels good to get out here and do something. Happy Easter from the Bitson household. And we got a lot more coming up. We're gonna explain what's going on. We're working with some uh, partners. We're doing some things. We got a lot of good things of what this channel and this show and the Bits and Effect is all about. Uh, it's going to be about helping people. I'll explain more later on. But stay tuned. Uh, if you want to subscribe, please do. But only if you're going to watch the videos. Please go ahead and watch. If, if you're not going to watch all the videos, then just go ahead and tune in when you want. But if you're going to watch them all, go ahead and subscribe because that's what that's what I want. That's what I want to build is I want to build a community that everyone watches because we're going to be about helping people. And I want like minded people watching these videos so that they can go out that I hopefully I can inspire inspire them to do the same thing. So thank you from the whole bits and household. This is Mike, Zeke, Paige, Gianna's over there. My wife's in the house. My other daughter's uh she's 25 now, so she's living on her own. But happy Easter. God bless. This is Mike. Out.